most of your ad spend is is wasted and will never convert you can't find it and it's difficult to show the right products to the right customer services uh customer searches we work with everything from industrial equipment to pharma to electronics to fashion to professional services but for the purposes of this demonstration i'm going to focus on e-commerce next slide please here we go. I've done a search here. I've looked for Michael Kors, block heel sandals, gold, size eight. I have large feet. Now, as you can see here, not a single product is right. They're the wrong size, wrong brand, wrong style, wrong color. This illustrates all of the things that's wrong about the way people are using Google at the moment. Michael Kors, who's there in the middle, um, right in the middle. Have we got a little pointer? We've not got a little pointer. There we are, right in the middle, Michael Kors. They've actually served uh, a wedgie. They've not even served a block heel. And there's another one over to the right here uh, who've got an amazing title, Michael, Michael Kors, shoes, Michael Kors, pink sandal heels, and the wrong size again. So this is where well, it's all over. It's all wrong. Next slide, please. Oh, back. Here we go. And here we go again. Nude bra plunge 38E. I have big boobs as well as big feet. Now you can see from this search, there's only one that's actually got it right. The rest are the wrong size, the wrong style, the wrong color. So Boo Avenue, which is the second one in from the left, has actually served the right thing for the search. But they've also served two other bras, which are the wrong thing for the search and the wrong size. And this is what's costing the industry an absolute fortune. And it's just going to get more and more expensive. So the reason this happens are the structures are wrong. We know a lot about structures. Our biggest feed is three and a half million products big. Titles and descriptions, crap in, crap out, and negatives. Like I said, there's a huge proportion of your Google spend and Bing and Facebook for that matter has never converted and will never convert. Our clients on average have seen a 48% increase in sales last year, 42% increase in ROAS. You fix these things, you're just gonna deliver more value and more sales. Now, here's a little case study for you. This company is called uh, Red Dress. They're based out in the States. They spend over uh, six figures a month on uh, paid search. And um, we took it over in February this year. And you can see March versus the previous March, we had massive increases, 146% increase in revenue, 14% down in spend. Uh, and if you look at the bottom right-hand uh, graph there, you can see the ROAS for 2020 versus the ROAS for 2021. In green is 2020, blue is 2021. We've more than doubled the ROAS every single month. Um, our other channels are going up, but at a fraction of what we're doing. So applying proprietary technology to the Google problem gets you results. If we just go on to the next slide, you can see the data here. It's so important to get your data correct. We have visual AI that we run over the feeds as well. Um, if you look at the description there, hmm, should you look adorably chic or simply stylish? Rubbish. Google doesn't know what to do with that. That's why it keeps showing the wrong thing. So we've given it a new description, long sleeve, square neck, floral print, mini skater dress with bishop sleeves and side pockets. That's going to serve all day for the right thing. Good title, good description, fantastic results. Next slide, please. So if everyone's doing the same thing, no one's going to have a competitive advantage. Most large companies will use Search 360 uh, and think they're doing something amazing. They're not. You're all doing the same thing. If you're all doing the same thing, you have no competitive advantage at all. So by getting engaged with startups who have technology that nobody else has, you can get results that are completely and utterly different.